Hey everybody, we're at Hamilton College, which is in Clinton, New York. It's a private college founded in 1793 as Oneida Hamilton College, and in 1812, it became Hamilton College. So we're gonna take a walk around. Right now, if you look over my shoulder, if you yeah. look, no, no, look the map? over, this is the map of the campus. But if you look over here, this is where the students live. There's a lot of housing. But Apartments. Gonna, apartments they have, really beautiful. We're gonna go up this way though, and we're gonna look at the school buildings where they take classes. Let's go up here. The map, can you show the map please? The map here is just that. It's just a, I don't know when the map was made, but it's showing you all the buildings. It's in solid copper. It shows you the trees, the houses, the orientation. A little history on the college over here. Oh, it was made in 1994. This was the college in 1994. So it shows you the history. So it's a very old college, old money, old college, beautiful town. So let's walk up this, the road here and take a look at the, the academic buildings. Come on this way. I am. Um, you go that way. You go in front of me. There we go. Okay. You call me big boys. Okay, first on the left, you got the Thomas Brown Rudd Building. And this is really just the teacher's building. This is where they do some of their teacher work, where they put their classes together and things like that. Now, for classes, but more for admission, you know, administration type work. Much more bigger, you know. To the right is the Wellness Center, which is like a small hospital. And they always do that. You can see it's right next to where the apartments are. So if any of the students get sick or they need a doctor, if there's an emergency, they can actually go right there to the little hospital. We're going to keep walking down the road here. Now remember, this was built in 18... Well, it started in 1793. In 1812, they expanded it. So the buildings have an older architecture. You can see the buildings are all made of stone. And it's a much older school. The acceptance right here is 18%, which is very competitive. It's less than one out of five students who apply will go here. They have beautiful dining halls. They have a lot of food here. Right now, they're doing outside dining because of COVID. They're giving students the option of eating outside so they don't have to eat in the cafeteria. Now, remember, any of these would have Christian histories. So, like, you know, Oneida Hamilton would have been a Christian school. Many of the people that worked here would have been Christians or pastors. And that was a big part of when you went to college in the early 1800s, late 1700s. It would have been church-based. So we're going to take a left here in a minute and just take a look here just on the looking down because we're going to go to the next road but just so you know here let's go take a look at the church the church is on the left take a left here joey and it's a perfect spring day a lot of the students are getting ready to leave graduation is next weekend so they're getting ready to go home for the summer, finishing up their final classes. We gotta be able, why don't we come up here on the lawn because there's some trucks coming. And we're gonna go over here toward the church or the chapel. What this building, this is the church? Hold on, that right there is the chapel. It's now a dining hall where you can eat, but originally it was a chapel. I just wanted you to see, this is just one of the lawn areas where students come out and play. These were the original buildings. Huh? This is building, what's this building? This was the Hall of Languages. This was originally when you wanted to learn new languages like uh, Latin, Greek, French, you went here. And if you look at the sign, it's written in Old English. Okay, let's go over here. The trees are hundreds of years old preserved these trees since the day they built the school. And when you come out to Clinton, when you come out this way to see this, you really are, are amazed by how beautiful these old campuses are. And you're really out in the middle of nowhere. This is a very uh, quiet area. There's not a big city anywhere near you. So you pretty much live on campus. You do all your campus stuff because there is no downtown. There's no a Walmart or anything like that. You really live on campus all the time. So now we're going to see here, which is more the front of the school. When you first enter the school, the road below, 
this is what you see. This is the campus that you actually see. So let's go out here on the lawn and you can take a picture of this building. Yeah, this building is yep. beautiful. This is one, it's of the old building. one of the old academic buildings, many classrooms. And I'm sure one of the reasons the students are outside, I'm sure it's getting a little warm inside right now. They wouldn't turn on the... Now, what's interesting is the houses across the street. Hey, this house, what is the building? This, believe it this or not. This is a beautiful building. This was an old gym. This would have been an old gym. Now it's just a, uh, a small hall that the teachers use for their offices. It's beautiful. Yeah. Very yeah. beautiful. Very small. But look at the houses across the street. You see these houses? All these old houses that belong to the college over here. These would have belonged to the college president and the big teachers and stuff used to live here. They don't live here anymore. Now they use the houses for offices and things like that. The college president still has a house, but mostly it's, it's just used for other things. But in the old days, the teachers, because remember, everybody came here on horseback. You didn't have a car in the old days. You would come here and actually study and have to live here. You couldn't go anywhere. So what this building? This over here is, well, let's get a little closer. We'll see the sign. I think it's one of the academic buildings. We'll walk down the uh, sidewalk over here. We can take a look now at the, the campus itself. And we're going to want to go up and see that statue. That's of the President Alexander Hamilton, who the college is named after. And over the years, there were many famous people that graduated from this school. B.F. Skinner being one of them, the head of Morgan Stanley. Now, it's a little bit of a different academic environment because uh, part of it is the students can can actually change their curriculum they can choose what they want to study so it's a very very strong study even though they have football they have soccer they have all the sports they're really about school and the people that go here are much more about academics than anything else they want to do well it's what we call old money it's people have who went here would pass away and leave behind money for the school so it's got a very large endowment which keeps the school going even in the worst times now take a look at this tree this tree is over 300 years old easily it would have been here when they founded the school they really take care of this campus the campus is in beautiful shape you can just see how beautiful green it is all the trees are cut it is just an absolutely beautiful school and this is what we love about places like Hamilton you're off the main street. When you're in a city school, you don't get this much beauty. Girl, let's walk down here, down okay. on the sidewalk. They're a famous subject. Their famous subject, actually they have a couple. One is psychology, another is finance. They do a lot with finance and accounting. And that's why many of the uh, big executives from Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, their children go here. But they also have a lot of science. We're going to take a look down here. And this is, we're coming up on the main building that you're looking for. Over here on the left. Oh, yeah. Every college would have its main academic building, the main center of where everything was. So this is really pretty. And they kept all the stone, which is nothing, you know, the old look. Let's go over here. We're going to go over and look at that statue. We're going to look at the main building so you get a picture from the front of the from the front of the college. Come over here. We're staying on the sidewalks. You can tell the students are getting ready to go home for the summer. They're all outside sitting around. They probably had a, a long year. Some will be graduating, going on to graduate school. They're going and getting their first jobs. Feel it's getting a little warmer today. We got good weather today, so we can do some nice pictures. We can make a nice view for everybody. Now, what you're looking at is a chapel. This is the Hamilton College Chapel. And there's the church bell at the top. Come on, let's go take a look. I don't know if it's open. <laughs> no open. Oh, well, this building. We have to check this. Oh, here, take a picture of the statue, Shan. This mm -hmm. is who the, the college was the founder.
try not to we'll try not to walk on the lawn it looks like they're doing a lot of work to fix the the grass look at this that's alexander hamilton who helped found the school in 1793. This is the person? He's the person who helped found this. Oh. In 1793. That's what he looked like. That's how he dressed. So not a big campus. It's not small, but it's not big. You can walk the entire campus. You don't have to drive. You can just walk around and see the campus. Can you, darling, can you talk about Mount Famous person graduation from here? It's had several. Actually, in the 1960s in particular, it had many um, famous psychologists and English writers who came out of here. A lot of people who wrote a lot of books at the time. They've, uh, they're very famous. They've had a couple Nobel Prize winners for writing. But um, probably right now they're more famous for their finance. A lot of people graduate out of here come to study math and finance and economics, learning the best of, you know, how the government works, how the markets work and things like that. So it's, it's kind of what, you know, every school, as we've said before, has its niche. Its niche meaning, what is it more famous for? Though it has many things, that's what it's more famous for right now. What's their name? The famous person's name? Um, let me take a look at the alumni list. We'll walk this way. And now you're looking again at the back at some of the academic buildings. Um, which what you start to find out here is how they've, they've really organized the campus well, where they have the living on one side of the campus and the other. Some of the people who went here, for example, David Solomon, who is currently, uh, he's an investment banker and he's the chief, he's the CEO of Goldman Sachs. He is the head of Goldman Sachs. So he's one of the biggest people there. You also have Paul Lieberstein, uh, he's an actor, very famous actor. You see him a lot on television, primetime television. He went here, graduated not too long ago. Ryan Serhart, uh, he's one of the big real estate brokers out of New York City, multi-millionaire, graduated out of here. Stephanie Rose Boganovich, and uh, she's a singer, songwriter. Now her father is John Bon Jovi, who was one of the biggest music acts Probably, he still performs today, but in the 1980s, he was the largest music act. So, Joseph Lin went here. He's a Taiwanese-American basketball player. He graduated out of here, went to play professional. Sarah Rafferty, American actress. You see her on different legal dramas at night. So, this, the alumni list, the current alumni list, is, is large. When you talk about a school of this prominence, when you see a school like this, that attracts some of the very best. When they graduate, they do very, very well. We're gonna walk down now a little bit further. We've made the circle. We're gonna go walk back down toward the admissions office. So we'll keep walking. Okay, folks, thanks for everything and stay tuned. We'll be going to Colgate University next. Bye-bye.